this is Mila Boshkova with the daily report from the Eglo newsroom in Varna. Let's look at our story for today. In a 19th century treatise on viniculture, the father of the Australian wine industry, James Busby, shared his expert advice on how soil affects wine. For example, sandy soil would produce a delicate wine, calcareous soil a spirituous wine, and decomposed granite a brisk wine. However, there has been actually little scientific evidence to support the popular French notion of goût de terroir, literally the taste of soil that was even codified in the 1905 Appellation d'origine contrôlée, the legislation whose basic idea is that a specific place gives a product its unique character and from which today's system of geographical indications developed. A new study from the University of Oregon gives the concept of terroir some new credibility by discovering a link between between soil properties and the taste of wine. The case study compared different soils and vintages of Pinot Noir grapes in Willamette Valley in the northwestern U.S. state of Oregon. The scientists were interested in pH or acidity levels which can be measured both in soil and in wine. Soil pH is an indicator of fertility as low pH soils tend to have fewer minerals. On the other hand, Wine pH contributes to wine taste, with higher pH rendering a more well-rounded and complex flavor and lower pH making wine as sour as vinegar. The usual pH of wine is somewhere between 3.4 to 3.8. The team used vintage data from 177 wineries of the Willamette Valley Wineries Association, soil data from County Soil Service, harvest reports by the National Agricultural Statistics Service, and precipitation records for the time period of 1999 to 2012. This resulted in a database of 267 Pinot Noir wines in total. Results from the analysis showed that the most terroir influenced Oregon wines boasting a rounded and buttery taste were those which minimal pH levels of the deep levels of soil. These are the leaner, infertile Pleistocene terraces of sedimentary rock and basalt that put a strain on the vines, pushing them to grow more fruits than leaves and to infuse their grapes with more flavor, aroma and color compounds to attract more animals. Thus, Oregon's signature 100,000-year-old deep volcanic soil of characteristic red coloring, also known as the Jory series, produces better wine with higher pH of 3.7 to 4.0, whereas the more fertile and shallow 10,000-year-old soil of lead deposits brings about brisker, sour wine of low pH, somewhere between 3.3 to 3.7. Additionally, it turned out that wines from years with low precipitation prior to harvest uh, were connoisseurs' favorites. Thus, the driving of wines into the survival mode through low moisture and low pH in soil just before harvest confirms the famous Finder saying, treat them mean, keep them keen. While there is much more that contributes to the final taste of wine, such as some 800 distinct organic compounds for Pinot Noir only, and uh, winemaking techniques such as blending in poor harvest years uh, somewhat obscure the effects of soil, scientific evidence is finally here uh, to support the notion of terroir. This was all for today. If you would like to find out more, please visit eclub.com. Thank you for watching.